Welcome to my lecture online. In the previous video, we found that the human body is made up of an incredible number of cells. But now we want to take a look and see, well, what atoms, what elements of the periodic table is our body made of? And it turns out that the vast majority of our bodies are made up of very few of the elements on the periodic table. So let's take a look. Now we can either take it by mass or we can take it by the number of atoms. So it turns out, if you take a look at the top sentence, is that more than 90% of our bodies are made up of just three of the elements on the periodic table, and they are oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen. Notice, 65% of our bodies are made up of oxygen, 18.5% are made out of carbon, and about 10% are made out of hydrogen. Now, together, that's 93.5% of our bodies are made up of just those three elements, which is actually phenomenal when you think of it. Now, of course, our bodies are made up of many other elements as well in very small quantities. As a matter of fact, without those other elements, we wouldn't be able to live. They're absolutely essential for life. And so we found that the top 11 elements that make up our body, well, those are absolutely essential. If we're missing any one of those, we simply couldn't live. And then there's a number of trace elements, dozens and dozens of them, and at least a dozen of those are absolutely essential for human life as well, and it's probably way more than a dozen. Without them, again, we would not do very well. So let's take a look. The next three are nitrogen, calcium, and phosphorus. And if you add those first six together, more than 99% of our bodies are made up of just those first six elements. And then we have five more, potassium, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, and magnesium. Now, of course, when you combine sodium and chlorine, that gives you salt. Potassium also is a type of a salt, the, the compounds that they come in, some sulfur, magnesium. And notice when you add those together, the top 11 are virtually our entire bodies. Now, if you add them up, you'll see they add up to more than 100% because that's a round-off error. These numbers, of course, are not exact. If we were to put more exact numbers on, it would be just slightly less than 100%. And then all other elements combined on the periodic table, less than 0.1% of them make up our bodies. All right. Now, when we do it by the number of atoms, the first three haven't changed except the order has changed. Hydrogen, of course, is a smaller atom and there's more of them. That's why by mass there's not as much of it, but by atom, notice that 62% of the atoms in our body are hydrogen atoms, 24% are oxygen atoms, and 12% are carbon atoms. So based on the number of atoms, 98% of our bodies, again, are made up of those first three elements. Then we have nitrogen, calcium, phosphorus, sulfur, sodium, potassium, chlorine, and magnesium. Altogether, 99.7% of our bodies are made up of those 11 atoms by number, not by mass. By mass, it's virtually 100%. And then you can see that all of this make up less than 0.3% in number of the atoms in our body. All the mass of all the remaining trace elements, the trace elements that we need in our bodies, and sometimes we take supplements just to make sure we have those trace elements in our bodies, well, they make up less than 10 grams of our body. 10 grams, wow, that is a very small amount. That is less than a half ounce of our bodies are made up of all the remaining trace elements. So just a very tiny amount, but those, many of those are extremely important and absolutely necessary for life as well. But I was actually surprised when I saw these numbers to realize that more than 90% of our bodies are made up of just three elements. And then a lot of times you'll hear that our bodies are mostly made out of water. Well, when you take the top two by number, notice hydrogen and oxygen combined makes water. And yes, a lot of the content of our body is in the form of fluid and some water is there, but obviously they're also taken up in many other types of compounds so that they're not necessarily just water. So there might be a slight misrepresentation of, of the reality, of course. We're not just big bags of water. Well, yes, if you want to look at it that way, the top two, if you combine those, there's all water, but they, they're used for other things in our bodies as well. So not necessarily just for water. But yeah, that's amazing. Our bodies are made up primarily of oxygen, carbon, and hydrogen. Who would have thought?